Hello friends, I'm Megna Thomas and welcome back to our channel Golden Eplets Aviation Pilot Training Academy Your Route to the Cockpit In my video today, I'm going to be solving more questions from the subtopics in maths basically for your preparation for the Carrot Pilot Program written examination The topic that we are going to see today are volumes and surface area and heights and distances So the first question from the topic volume and surface area is Two cubes have their volumes in the ratio 1 is to 27 Find the ratio of their surface area. So if you have already studied cubes and cuboids in your school, you would know that the volume for the cube is A cube and the surface area, so A is the uh, side of the cube, okay, it's A is one of the sides of the cube. The next one is surface area which is 6 into A square, that is your side square and diagonal is root 3A. So this is your formula for uh, the various things that you could find in the cube. Now our question here has two cubes are given and have their volumes as 1 is to 27. As we've already seen here volume is A cube. Let's assume the side of one of the cube is A and the other is B. So A cube by B cube is given as 1 is to 27 right. It's the volume that is given. So volume is A cube by B cube. You just uh, take the 3 out, A by B the whole cube becomes 1 by 3 whole cube, right? Because 27 is 3 into 3 into 3. So this becomes 1 by 3 whole cube. You solve this further, just simplify it. It becomes A upon B is equal to 1 by 3. So now this is A by B. Now for the surface area, we have the formula as 6A square. So now let's find the surface area. Just uh, write this, we'll multiply the A and B with 6, A square upon 6, B square is equal to, cancel it out, it becomes A upon B, the whole square, right? You have A by B over here, we found it out over here, so you just take it down, 1 by 3 whole square is equal to 1 by 9. So. The ratio of their surface area is 1 is to 9. Therefore, 1 is to 9 is your answer. So this is the solution for this question. You will have more variants for this. For now, we're just seeing one example. Now let's move on to the next question. Now let's see the question from the topics, heights and distances. The question is, a kite flying at a height of 45 meters from the level of grounds is attached to a string inclined at 60 degree to the horizontal find the length of the string so uh, they've given that a kite is flying at a height of 45 meter so this is at the height of 45 meter from the ground this is the ground and it is attached to a string that is inclined to the horizontal so this string is inclined to the horizontal at 60 degrees right so we we have the height over here we have the angle of inclination this kind of makes a triangle where this is the perpendicular this is the hypotenuse and this is the base we know that this angle is 90 degree because this is a right angle triangle and also sum of the angles of the triangle is equal to 180 degree here we do not know this so we need to find what this angle is now we'll just do 90 plus 60 plus x is equal to 180 degree where x is equal to 180 minus 90 plus 60 is 150 so x is equal to 30 degrees so this angle over here is 30 degrees now the question says we have to find the length of the string so what we need to find is this this is what we are asked to find we are given this we know the angles right so let us now see a table which I'm sure we all have already seen in school. These are the trigonometric ratios where I have written down the table for you. You can see sin theta, cos, the cos theta, tan theta, cosecant theta, secant theta and cot theta. So these are the uh, degrees 0 degree, 30, 45, 60 and 90 and these are the values where I'll just read out the first one for you where sine 0 is 0, sine 30 is 1 by 2, sine 45 is 1 by root 2, 60 degrees root 3 by 2 and sine 90 is 1. We all have studied trigonometry. I'm sure maybe most of us don't remember it now. But yes, we know this. We have done this. So we're quite familiar with all of this. So this table is important. Right? Now let me come back to this question. 
we here need to find the hypotenuse like i already said that this is the base right i'll just write down base this is the perpendicular and this side is the hypotenuse so what do we have with us we have the perpendicular with us and we need to find the hypotenuse now we all know that the formula for sin theta sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse yes sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse so uh, the sin theta here is 60 degree right so sin 60 is equal to your perpendicular is 45 and you need to find your hypotenuse so we'll assume that as x we'll take this as x for now okay so now uh, we need to find the value for sine 60 degree let us see what is the value for sine 60 degree sine 60 is root 3 by 2 we will substitute it over here we'll put sine 60 as root 3 by 2 is equal to 45 upon x which means x root 3 is equal to 45 into 2 so that becomes x is equal to 45 into 2 by root 3 now to simplify this further we can also write yeah so 45 can also be written as x is equal to 15 into 3 into 2 by root 3 right now we all know that root 3 and this 3 can be written as 15 into root 3 into root 3 into 2 by root 3 which will help us cancel the root 3 and we are going to get the answer as 15 to the 30 root 3 meters so x here is 30 root 3 meter that means the length of the string that they've asked for is this 30 root 3 so this was a solution for heights and distances i hope you've understood this question was pretty basic we have more complicated questions but i'm not doing that over here these are just sample questions so that would be all from my side so that's all for this video we are coming up with more such videos stay tuned to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe to golden efforts aviation what are you waiting for come let's fly